Implementing proper color contrast for elements in your app is crucial to providing a good experience for all users. When foreground and background colors of UI elements have insufficient contrast, text can be hard to read and icons can be hard to distinguish. Proper color contrast helps users with visual impairments more easily use your app and also helps everybody use your app in bright settings, such as outdoors in the sun. When considering color contrast, you should follow these guidelines. Large text, considered anything 18 dp or larger, or 14 dp and larger when bold, should have a 3 to 1 ratio. All other text should have a 4.5 to 1 ratio. Icons and images should also have a 4.5 to 1 ratio when comparing the foreground and background. You can manually test the contrast between two colors through a contrast checker such as WebAIM. For example, here we can see that the contrast between black and white is 21 to 1. Accessibility Scanner is another tool you can use to test how well your app handles color contrast. For example, let's run the Accessibility Scanner app on a sample task tracker app. After Scanner takes a screenshot of a screen in the app, we can see that the title text for each task has been flagged. Clicking into the results of why the title text was flagged, we see that it doesn't have sufficient color contrast. Using Scanner, we can also use the Edit Colors button to test the contrast of different foreground and background colors selected from the screenshot. To fix this, we should make the text a darker color so it passes the 4.5 to 1 ratio. Due to how your app implements themes and styles, color contrast bugs often surface when your app is being used in dark mode. So be sure to also test your app in dark mode to ensure you are providing the best experience for all users. Starting in version Arctic Fox, Android Studio now has built-in checks to surface color contrast issues. Here we can see that Studio gives us a warning to let us know this button's text-to-background contrast ratio is only 1.31, and that we should increase the contrast ratio to 4.5 or greater. Studio also gives us a suggestion for an appropriate text color and a fix button to apply the suggestion automatically. Lastly, you can also turn on accessibility checks in your Espresso tests to help surface any accessibility-related issues, including potential contrast issues. And we'll be covering automating accessibility checks in detail in a future episode. In summary, large text should have at least a 3 to 1 color contrast ratio between the text and its background. Icons, images, and all other text should have at least a 4.5 to 1 color contrast ratio. You can manually test the color contrast between two elements through Web Tools Online or through the Accessibility Scanner app. Dark mode often services color contrast bugs that are less likely to be spotted. So be sure to test your app in dark mode for any potential contrast issues. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tips on how to ensure your Android apps are accessible for everybody.